Hello guys and welcome to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. We were discussing about tree data structure and in the previous tutorial we saw what is general tree, what is binary tree and five types of binary tree. Today we will discuss about this types of binary tree in detail. So we have five types of binary tree here. Full binary tree, complete binary tree, perfect binary tree, balanced binary tree and pathological binary tree. So first let's discuss about full binary tree. What is this and how it looks? So the first type of binary tree is full binary tree. It is a type of binary tree in which every node has zero or two children. We know in binary tree every node can have zero child node, one child node or two children, right? But in full binary tree every node can have zero child node or two children. In full binary tree node can't have one child node. In other words we can define full binary tree like this also. Full binary tree is a type of binary tree in which every node other than the leaf node has two children. Okay, Both the definition is same. We are using different words. That's it. Meaning is same. In full binary tree every node can have zero child node or two child nodes. So let's see a few examples. Okay so this is a tree right. And here we can see this is a binary tree because every node has uh, zero or two children. So this is a binary tree and also it is a full binary tree because every node has two children or zero children. This node, this is the root node. It contains two children, left child and right child. And this node also contains two children and this and this and this node are called as leaf node and it contains zero child nodes. That means this is a full binary tree. Let's take another example. So this is also a binary tree and here we can see every node contains two children. This node contains two children. This node contains two children. This node contains two children and here leaf nodes contain zero children. So this is also a full binary tree. Now if I add a node here like this. Now it is a binary tree because here we can see every node contains zero one or two children but it is not a full binary tree because here we can see this node contains only one child that's why this is not the full binary tree it is a binary tree but it is not a full binary tree and this full binary tree is also called as strict or strictly binary tree so this is the another name for full binary tree strict or strictly binary tree so this is a full binary tree this is not the full binary tree this is the binary tree but it is not the full binary tree. Alright so this is about the full binary tree the first type of binary tree. To understand this better I'll show you a few more example. Let's see those trees are full binary tree or not. So here we have five example. This is the first example. So let's see whether this is a full binary tree or not. You need to check every node. You need to see how many child node it contains. First let's begin with the root node this node it contains two children that's okay right. Next let's see this this contains two children this node contains two children this node contains two children this node contains two children and these are leaf nodes nodes with zero child that means this is a binary tree as well as this is the full binary tree. Next let's move on to the second example this and here we can see this is the root node and it contains two children. Next this node contains two children but this node contains only one child node. So this is a binary tree but it is not a full binary tree because here this node contains only one child node. So this is not a full binary tree. Next let's move on to the third example here we have. So this node contains only one child node. So this is the root node it contains only one child node. That means it is not a full binary tree. So let's move on to the next example. Here this node, this is the root node contains two child node. This node contains two child node. This node contains two child node. And these are leaf nodes. Nodes with zero child. So this is a binary tree as well as full binary tree. And this is the last example. Here we can see this node contains two child node, this node contains two child node, this node contains two child node. So this is a full binary tree. I hope now you are clear with the full binary tree. 
First of all, full binary tree is the type of binary tree. So to become a full binary tree, first tree need to be a binary tree. Okay, you need to check that. Next, you need to check the number of children of each node. If it contains zero child or two children, then that is the full binary tree. If any node of a tree contain one child node, then that is not the full binary tree. Alright, so this is about the first type of binary tree that is full binary tree. Next, let's talk about the next type. So the next type is called as complete binary tree. So let's see what is this with the example. It is a type of binary tree in which all the levels except last level is completely filled with nodes. And in the last level, it can be filled with node completely or nodes need to be filled from left to right. Or in other words, all the nodes are as left as possible. So here we have two cases. One is all the levels except last level. It need to be completely filled with nodes. For the last level, either it can be completely filled or nodes need to be filled from left to right. I know definition is little bit confusing. Don't worry. Let's take the example. When we see the example, you will get the clear picture. All right. In this, we can see this is the level 0. This is level 1. This is level 2. And this is level 3 or the last level. And according to the complete binary tree definition, first we need to check all the level except the last level. And all the level except the last level need to be completely filled with the nodes. So first let's begin with the level 0. So this is level 0, right? L0, level 0. Here we can see in every tree, level 0 contains only one node that is the root node. Here it is present. That means it is completely filled. So level 0 is completely filled. At maximum level 0 can contain only one node and it is present in the tree. So level 0 is completed. Next let's move on to the level 1. This is the level 1. In the level 1 we can see two nodes. Because this is a binary tree and every node can have at most two children and here two children of this node is present here. The left node and right node both are present. It can't have more than two children and two children are present that means level 1 is also completely filled. We can't have more node in the level 1 because it is a binary tree and here two nodes are present that means level 1 is also completed. Let's move on to the level 2. This is level 2 and in the level 2 we can see maximum this node can contain two children and it is present here and here also maximum this node can contain two children and it is present. That means level 2 is also completely filled. At maximum in level 2 we can have four node and it is present here. That means level 2 is completed. Right. Next let's move on to the level 3 last level. And here we can see this node can have two node and it is present here. But this node can have two node. This node can have two node. This node can ha have two node. These are not present here. But because this is the level 3, the last level, as I said, for the last level, we have two options. Either it should be completely filled or nodes need to be filled from left to right. That is from left to right, from left to right. Here we can see all nodes in the left side are completely filled. This is completely filled and this is empty. Then it is okay. So that's why it is a complete binary tree. In the last level, if the nodes are not completely filled, then nodes need to be present from left to right. Here this is present, this is present and this is empty. That's why it is okay. So that's why it is a complete binary tree. Little bit confusing, right? Let's take another example. I'll add nodes here. We completely fill this. So this is level 0. It is completely filled. It is level 1. It is completely filled. It is level 2. It is completely filled. And level 3, every node contains two children and it is also completely filled. So it is a complete binary tree. Now let's take another example. So let's start from the level 0. In level 0, only one node can be present that is the root node and it is present here. So level 0 is completed. Next let's move on to the level 1. 
here we can see level 1 need to contain two nodes because this is the root node this node can maximum contain two children because it is a binary tree and here this node is not present that means level 1 is not completed if level 1 is not completed then that means this is not the complete binary tree because level 1 is not the last level so we don't have any liberty for that all the other node except last node need to be completely filled so here l1 is not filled that's why this is not a complete binary tree let's take another example let's start from the root node okay this is the root node l0 level 0 and root node is present that means level 0 is completed next level 1 level 1 can contain maximum 2 node it is present next let's move on to the level 2 here level 2 can contain maximum 4 node and it is present because this node can contain maximum 2 node this node can contain maximum 2 node all the nodes are present so level 2 is also completed let's move on to the level 3 so this is the last level here so here we can see it is not completely filled because here we can see the empty place this 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 we can see the empty place here but here we can see left node is filled as I said if nodes are present it should be present as left as possible and it is present in the left side here it is empty in the right side it is empty not in the left side that means this is a complete binary tree now in this example if instead of here if the node is present here in the right side then this is not the complete binary tree that is because here we can see in the last level this place is empty here we don't have any node right in the last level nodes need to be filled from left to right here we can see the empty place in the left side after that this node is present that means this is not a complete binary tree if you have node here this is not a complete binary tree so this is about the complete binary tree to check whether the given tree is complete binary tree or not first we need to check all the levels all the levels except last level need to be completely filled with the nodes and in the case of last level we have two options one is either it can be completely filled with node or nodes need to be filled from left to right to understand this better let's take few more example let's see whether these trees are complete binary trees or not so the first tree is this here this is level 0 and in the level 0 root node is present that means done level 0 is completed it is completely filled next level 1 in the level 1 we can see two nodes this root node can maximum have two child nodes and it is present here so level 1 is also completed next let's move on to the level 2 in the level 2 here we can see this node can contain maximum two children this node can contain maximum two children maximum level 2 can contain four nodes and it is present here that means level 2 is also filled completely next let's move on to the l3 that is the last level here we can see it is not completely filled because here we can see this is left this is left these two nodes can contain uh, two nodes maximum two nodes but it is not present here so it is not completely filled so next let's check for the next condition that is nodes need to be filled from left to right here we can see in the left side we have node in the left side we have node but here we can see here it is not present here it is not present but here it is present that's why this is not a complete binary tree when you are filling the nodes in the last level you need to fill from left to right so after filling here you need to fill here not here okay that's why this is not a complete binary tree here instead of here in this place if it contains these two nodes then that is okay this is a complete binary tree but here we can see the empty places in the left side and right side is filled that's why this is not a complete binary tree next let's move on to the next example this example here we can see this is level 0 completely filled level 1 completely filled and in the level 2 it is not completely filled because this node need to contain two child node and also this is not the last level so it is not completely filled that means it is not a complete binary tree 
all the other level except the last level need to be completely filled right and here it is not completely filled so that's why this is not a complete binary tree next example is this so here we can see level 0 completed level 1 it is not completed because this node contain only one child node it is not present this node is not present so level 1 is not completed and here level 1 is not the last level so that's why this is not a complete binary tree next let's move on to the next example here we can see this is the root node level 0 completed level 1 completed level 2 is not completed again right because this node doesn't contain nodes here so it is not completed here we can see empty places right so and level 2 is not the last level so this is not a complete binary tree so last example so this is the root node root node in the level 0 so level 0 is completed level 1 is completed level 2 is completed so here every level is filled completely so this is a complete binary tree and in this example if this node if it is filled then it is a complete binary tree because here now we can say level 2 is completed in the level 3 that is in the last level nodes are present in the left side as possible then it is a binary tree complete binary tree i hope now you are clear with the full binary tree and complete binary tree in full binary tree you need to check the number of children each node have it can have zero or two children and in the complete binary tree, you need to check all the levels of the tree. All the level except last level need to be completely filled. And in the last level, either it need to be completely filled or node need to be filled from left to right. Okay, so this is about two types of binary tree, full binary tree and complete binary tree. Next, we'll discuss about these three types in the next tutorial. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.